What's up guys? It's Emo Capri Sun looking at you here today on September 2nd, 2010. Uh, Get that back behind my ear. It's getting really nasty. Of course, then it brings out my big ass forehead, so you know, I'll put it back. You know, my hair is getting pretty long now. I'm starting to look like Dumb and Dumber or something here, man. I seriously don't even know what to tell you anymore. Ugh. Except it hangs over my nose and kind of itches, so it's really annoying. It's at that point right now where it's just short enough that it won't go back behind my ears. So it kind of just hangs there. Blech. I remember Mika Kitty saying the same thing about her hair like a couple months ago. Anyway, I got some cool stuff to show you. I visited my P.O. box again a couple times. And look at this. Crazy racers. They're erasers made out of toilet stuff. You go in the bathroom. And for, I'm, like, I'm, I'm telling you, I've looked through this stuff so many times, I don't even remember who sent what now. I got all the envelopes mixed up. I got one here that came all the way from Holland. So you can see the the letter in. I think this is what was in it, but I can't remember. Um, what was this? Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is awesome. I can just see this going on the wall. You are cooler than the toad. Take that, Donna Bells. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, here's a, I don't want to put anybody's address up here like where they can see it. But uh, I think probably one of the coolest things I got was this card from, uh, uh, what is her name? Silver Snake 4133 Her real name is Amanda, but look at it. She actually drew this all by hand, like every hill in the background and everything. And then on the back is a little ocarina with a flute. It's just so cool. I mean, she can, like, do this professionally. And on the inside is, hey, listen, and the Triforce. Just cool stuff. So, and Hoot Hoot. Hoot Hoot in the bottom. <laughs> Cool stuff. Thank you, Amanda, for everything. I still remember. Like, even though I got stuff mixed up, I remember, like, what you sent, and it was awesome. More than awesome. Like, I can't even describe my, my hair looks so bad like that. Like, seriously, I look like freaking Edward Furlong in Terminator 2, which wouldn't be so bad. I thought, oh, this, wow. Emo Capri Sun for the win. Huh? Ugh, I just, I sit here and I brush it back, and I brush it back, and I brush it back, and it just falls right back in my eyes again. It's like a never-ending process, man. Let's just forget it. So then we got this here, which is, uh, I believe, wow, I don't know, Master Sword, uh, uh Master Sword this. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Taking Tyson with toilet paper, some other such thing, it's crazy. Here's a nice badass picture of Sonic. Running down a hill, and then of course me on the other side, wow. That's, uh, pretty good. That's actually not far from the truth either. I'm trying to look at what my shirt says. Oh, okay, that's my Metroid shirt, yeah, that I put on, uh, whatever it was, Zazzle. You know, half of my stuff isn't even on Zazzle anymore. Like, I went there last time and looked, and there was like four t-shirts up there. I don't know what happened to all the pins and stuff that I made. And yeah, this is right here is an autographed picture of Charles Martinet, Martinet, who does the voice of Mario. So, sure enough, that is awesome. Freaking hilarious, man. I wish I knew, like, who to thank for all this stuff, but I lost all the, like, I haven't kept very good track of the names. Game 4 Freak 1. It's G-A-M 4 Freak 1. That's one of them. I think he was the one that sent me the... Well, hell, if I can even remember now. So I know some people don't want to be credited. That's kind of why I worry about that. But, uh... Yeah, the Sonic picture, that was, uh... Majora Knight. Yeah, I know you. Majora Knight, who was doing Majora's Mask last I checked. It might be different now. And then the Toad picture that was uh, 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 Koopa Freak 600, also known as 13 Spin. Yeah, I've seen you around too. Uh, I still can't believe these crazy racers, man. What the hell? And uh, what was the other stuff? I got some more stuff up here. Like, it doesn't stop there. Like, seriously, there's more stuff. Wait, let me see. This might, this might be the stuff I already showed you. Yeah, it is. Okay. Man, you think I'd be more organized than this? I think I'm missing some stuff, but as soon as I get around to it, I'll... Oh, 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 yeah, 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 here, look at this. Okay, I go to my post office, and I'm surprised to see that they managed to squeeze this into my P.O. box. Which, if you're wondering, like, how big my P.O. box is, well, this just barely fits into it. And, uh, if you can't tell already what's inside... Yeah, yeah, I, I know you can see this coming. It's an actual roll of toilet paper. Somebody actually sent me toilet paper. So now I don't have to get some more toilet paper anymore because I got some right here, baby. So hell yeah. No, no, I'm not going to do that in front of you. No. doesn't need wiping anyway because I just just took a shower. I'm filming this with my other camera, my better camera, so if it looks a little different, that's why. Um, I never closed my drawers back there. 
Sorry about that. Yeah, so, whatever. Anyway, um, and I'm currently rendering the fourth Galaxy video that I've recorded today, so that was fun. God, I look really bad like this. Like, not badass either, I just mean like really bad. Oof. Maybe when my hair dries off it'll look different, because uh, it definitely looks different when it's dry. It is like crazy. It's like somebody's taking a bunch of feathers and touching my face. Ugh. Ugh. I don't know how people do that. Like, why doesn't it feel like feathers to them? Yeah. Anyway. 73 degrees, huh? Yeah, the other thing that Amanda sent was a couple of discs, which I guess have Zelda music and stuff on them. I haven't checked them out yet, but I definitely will. Like, I'll take them out to my car. Because my car is, like, the only place where I have a CD player that actually works. I still can't believe this. This is insane. Like, who was it that sent this? Let me see if they... Let me see if we got a name here. Yes, Gaming God 90 That was the guy that sent the toilet paper. So, thank you. Oh, yeah. Ooh, it smells good. This ain't no cheap toilet paper, man. Whatever this is, it's a nice brand. Ooh, that's gotta be Charmin or something. I don't know. It's not Scott Tissue, I'll tell you that. I know Scott Tissue is like the really thin brand. It's almost paper thin. But it lasts, like, forever, but still. Oh, can't stand the side of that forehead. Yeah. If my hair was thicker, then it wouldn't be so bad, you know? Like, if I just did it over, did that or something. I just take it all on one side and push it up over the other side, and then, then you get something like this. I don't know. Of course, now I look like Gavin Rosdale. Oh, I wanted to uh, thank everybody who's uh, joined the Nintendo Capri Sun forums. It's turned out to be a pretty good little community we got going there so far. So, NintendoCapriSun.com, register at the forums, you come hang out with us, we can talk about games or, you know, life, school, pretty much food, any any kind of thing you could possibly think to talk about, we're talking about there right now. It's just crazy stuff, man. Oh, just dropped my comb on the floor. Um, here's my old camera, since you never get to see it. It's like, not my old camera, but the one I usually film with, the cheap one, cheapo. Uh, some more toilet paper. Wait, no, not right now. No, I don't need it for anything right now. I am the god of TP. Yeah. Oh my gosh. What if I, like, unrolled this and there was, like, a signature, like, six layers down or something? Hey, I could use this to dry my hair. There you go. All right, yeah. Maybe that would get it dry a little fat. Yeah, so now I got three LPs going on at once. Super Mario Galaxy 2... Uh, Metroid Prime and Final Fantasy X. Final Fantasy X is the one I look forward to the most right now. So I really like every time I think about it. It's like, man, I can't wait to record that again, and I need to get back to it because. Uh... Oh, that's the other thing. Super Genius, the guy who sent me the Twilight Princess guide, he just sent me the Final Fantasy X guide. I'm like, oh my god, dude, you did not have to do that. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Like seriously. I used to have that guide back when I first played the game in 2002, and I even had a picture somewhere where I could see the guide in the picture. And for the longest time, like after I lost the guide, I don't remember how I lost it, but I would see it in the picture and think, okay, there it is right there. It was sitting right on my desk. Actually, I had it propped up against my desktop computer. And for some reason, I don't know, you just, I, I couldn't find the guide. Eventually, I was just like, frick, frack. I, I got so mad that I couldn't find it because it was so useful, so helpful. So, I thank you from the bottom of my fart for sending that, because that means a really a lot to me. And I'm just sounding stupid now, because I'm... Too many thank yous. But thanks to everybody who sent everything. Now, I haven't checked it in a few days now, so if you sent something, I might not have seen it yet. Um, I don't think I've checked it since Tuesday. Or, not Tuesday, but Monday. Or, actually, no, it was Sunday. Sunday was the last time I checked it, because I got off at 6. Wait, no. That would have had to been Monday. Yeah. And today is Thursday, so I don't know. Yeah, but it seems I uh, should probably... I, I was thinking about checking it weekly, but I've been checking it bi-weekly, and there has always been something there, so maybe I should keep checking it bi-weekly for now until the fad wears off or whatever. That is, of course, until I decide to put the address on Nintendo Capri Sun, then, oh my god. So I'd have to get a bigger box then. <laughs> anyway, but, yeah. I still think about that sometimes, I maybe put the address. Well, I need to put the address for NintendoCapriSun.com over there. So, uh, so all my fans can, like, come to the forums from there. But I figure that all my serious fans come to subscribe to this channel. They're the hardcore ones. So, yeah. You know, even the ones that don't like me, like Nintendo Capri Sucks and 
Uh, Let's Player Suck 666. You guys rock too, man. Just the fact that you're coming here, that's cool. Uh, we accept all visitors and we take no prisoners. So, <clears throat> alright, this thing's almost done uh, rendering, so I think I better get started on some uh, new stuff. What is the, what, what tape is in my player right now? Let's find out. Uh, September 2nd, 1997. So it's a boring tape. I see you're talking about Crystal Davis. I'm like, fuck, fucking Crystal Davis. I used to work with her at Golden Pantry. Like, she, when I first got, when I got my first job in my life, she got the job the same day as me in the same store. And I am telling you, I fell so hard for her. I fell so freaking hard for her that it was like, it took me three years to get over it. And I only saw her for a month. She had to quit the job because she got in a wreck. Some drunk driver or something hit her. And it made me so mad. And oh my god. And ever since then, like for the next two years after that, I wrote her letters. Sent her Christmas cards. Just trying to get some kind of acknowledgement or something. And she never called or wrote back or anything. So, And then come to find out, like about a month before we moved from there to Wisconsin. Because this was in Georgia. And like a month before we were about to move to Wisconsin, I was talking to my stepdad, Steve, and he said that he had seen her not too long ago and that she had asked about me, like how I was doing. And I was like, wow, that's cool. <laughs> of course, it, you know, it took Beverly to get to make me forget about her, but Beverly, that's a whole other story. That was just like some, I don't know what Beverly was. That was just a, a fart in the wind. Well, she, I mean, we're still friends now, actually. We keep in touch now. But, you know, because Beverly's like really into video games. And I don't know if Crystal would have been, but she's, you know, Beverly's awesome. So, anyway, well, that's all I have to say about that. So, uh, you know, we can make shrimp all day. I was just watching Forrest Gump not too long ago. All right, I don't want this video to get too long. we got to stop this. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, so at the end of this recording, there's actually two farts that I recorded in bed. The second one is no good. The first one's really not that good either. But I found... Um, something similar to Reservatrol, which is actually Resveratrol, as someone pointed out. I thought I was saying it wrong. This is, I don't know how you pronounce that, Akai Berry? Now, supposedly, there's some big scam going on on the internet where people are selling this in pill form, and it's supposed to make you lose weight. And whether or not it actually does make you lose weight is anybody's guess, but, but what's happening is people are getting your credit card information and, like, charging you even after you stop your subscription. And people are getting scammed like up the wazoo with this stuff. So, so I'm, I'm not sure if it's because the stuff doesn't work or if it's because the people keep taking their money. But either way, there seems to be a lot of research going on about these lately. Like it's supposed to be really good for you or antioxidants, this kind of thing. So what I've been doing is like drinking a glass every night before I go to bed. And as is the case with Reservatrol, I'm telling you, it gives me the gas. So I started setting the camera by my bed and I was hoping to get five farts in one night like I did with the Reservatrol. But I only got two, so or resveratrol. But uh, so I don't know. I don't know if it's as good for poops as the other one. But but I got it here and I've been drinking it. So maybe maybe that's good news. I don't know. Anyway, okay, I'm turning this off now. So uh, see you later. Bye. Oh wait wait wait.